So I'm coming back and now I'm um, part 10 of Tales of Hesperia. Here there's a giant horde of monsters coming towards the hold. Must run inside to protection. Don't even know why I'm seeing that. Hurry, get inside! The gate's closing! Get inside, people. Shut the gate now! Damn it! What are they doing here this time of the year? No one knows. Everything bad happens to Yuri Lowo. Don't you love how they're hitting them? Seriously. Yes, they're they are all in except those two except those people outside. Seriously, look, they're all in and they're still running inside. Hey, look, that's our first that's our first Giganto monster. That giant bull, that giant blue bull. That's it. I'm cursed. I forgot what's name. I just remember that I hated it. Because it can summon more monsters. Stop the gate! Take him out, repeat. No, never. At least he stopped the gate. She didn't even listen. Okay. We're at your whim. Please, I can't get up. Is that even a guy? Seriously? Ow! Monsters! Monsters! I think we left the monkey. I think we need the monkey behind. But we accidentally left the monkey behind. He has a little boy who sounds like he's in puberty. You can stand. I'm faster than you, especially in battle, I'm faster than you. You can take hits, but I can run faster. Not so much for keeping a low profile. Yuri's in their thoughts say, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm risking my life for a doll. That was almost close. Don't you love how useful the knights were? I mean, look how many arrows actually hit. Zero. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. You notice his voice sounds different. Earlier he sounded like a like teenager going through puberty, but now I'm not sure now. Whoa. All worn out, huh? Yep. Is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. That's why people fight them. Couldn't they install a barrier blasting here? No. Barriers Maybe. are a precious no. resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created If the only, if only a woodpecker size. I forget. Oh, it was Sings. Yep, because Yuri knows the Empire from being inside it. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! That doesn't sound you sound sinister at all. These monsters are tougher than you think. You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Sounds like we're gonna meet up with these guys sometime later on too. But now we use them as a distraction. Stop! That's an awesome sword. That can cause earthquakes, apparently. You knights cheated us out of a job back there. Now we're gonna work off some steam. So you're gonna fight the knights instead? You guys are morons. Then yeah, and I fought the knights before too, so I'm a moron. But Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. We can either wait or take or try finding an alternate path. So let's look for information. We may 
made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. Yuri is a nice guy. I love these skits for character development. Yeah, actually, if you see all the skits, you get uh, achievements you there. too. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Yay, money! Too bad Yuri doesn't think the same way. Watch <laughs> your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So no thanks. It's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself. Watch your mouth. I don't want to watch my mouth. You're just as charming as I expected. I need a mirror for that. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We I don't see you coughing. From trade to distribution. JK. Guilds, huh? Just kidding. Earthquake. You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. Yay. Tremors are awesome. The work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. But then we learned what his real name is when we He's fight him later on. Of monsters. The leader? Yeah, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Yes, we are. I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Waiting is lame. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Oh. Repeat, follower. Come on, don't let her get in trouble. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. That's because it'll take too long. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? S really? Once you leave the hmm. Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. So it's a matter of pride. Really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination. Is to Yuri something interested about in being in a guild? I wonder. Go to the Koi woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. Hey, look, like Kiyori has deductive reasoning. But I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't know, we deal with her all the time. I buy her weapons. Well, I buy weapons from her employers. Estelle. How does her dress fall out like that when she I'm sits down on the ground? The to leave or anything. Just I don't know. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! Okay. You're a healer, I can't do well that without a healer. Miss Directions. She said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman, of Fortune's Market. <laughs> Giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? No, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who refused the knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. Okay, S S hasn't it still been... Oh wait, there's items you can find? That's not an item, that's a tent. Anyways, there's some items you can find here. And I wonder, why does Estelle, how does Estelle know about Kaufman if she's in guild and Estelle's part, practically a noble in the Empire? How would she know about that then? Do the Empire keep taps on some guilds? I don't know. 
It's my questions corner. I forgot I go this before. Some awesome stuff you can get over here. Oh, if you didn't notice, if you, when you change the weapons, your sheath, your sheath, and what you display normally would change as well. I like both Symphonias, where you kept you kept seeing him pull a steel sword when you actually had a wooden sword. That was fun. Not. Okay, don't go this way. He just has random quotes like me. I don't know. Okay, see you on part 11 where we find out what this guy has to say. This guy right here. 